Well, well. We're going to have to thank Norman Carr after all. The Sith showed. Stand down, Sith. The Padawan you seek is not here. Master Carr discovered her plan and talked her out of it. It's not your day. You were expecting one lowly little Padawan to crush. And instead, you get us. I should have known this wasn't going to be easy. Just like a Sith, always looking for a shortcut. I am Alden. This is Xylix. We are fully trained Jedi Knights and more than your match. You should submit. Of course, we have yet to encounter a Sith who had the sense to surrender. You all seem bent on having us destroy you. I have no quarrel with you. Let's just go our separate ways. Now, why would we agree to just let you go? Xylix, we assume this Sith would engage, as all others we face have. If that's not the case... No, Alden. This Sith will continue to hunt Noman Carr and his Padawan. We must end the threat for good. True Jedi don't attack to kill. The light side demands temperance. Who are you to lecture about the light side? The Sith force us to take measures like this. You, Sith, pose an exception. Your vile attempts to hurt Noman Carr and Jason Wilson are provocation enough. You don't know my motivations. Come on! It doesn't take a genius to know you came here to destroy. Your presence is all the confirmation we need. Right, Alden? No. Xylix, I... I'm unsure. Master Carr claims this Sith means Jace harm, but we have no proof. Master Carr's word is proof enough. I have no crisis of conscience, assuming his assessment is sound. That's an assumption I cannot make, my friend. I will not engage. I must walk away. And I urge you to do the same. You may have derailed Alden's resolve, Sith, but your luck ends there. I'll take you on myself. You're going to regret that. Never! I yield! I yield to you! Damn Alden for leaving me to face you alone. The result would have been the same. Your strength is undeniable. Is there such power in the dark side? I leave you to ponder your future. I am a broken man.